Let's play tag. If you win, I'll give you a reward. I really doubt that will happen though. Nope, you can't run from me. Hello everyone, X Falcon here and welcome back to my um, Halloween special and right now we're on part 2 of that hack infection Yeah, and so let's just go into the game You've pretty much seen uh, a short intro of the game with the first episode of course We've looked into our emails into the board and all that and so let's just continue into the game to progress <laughs> you can clearly tell that she's also a newbie. <laughs> anyway, you guys, you guys will get to know her soon enough. I guess I'll get my gear first. I want to collect some information as well. Okay, let's go. Look around and I'll let you guys see the town. We've got um, the Aqua City Mag Anu here. Anyway, we've got the save um, NPC over there. Oh, I think I'm lagging a bit. Hopefully not. Anyway, Elf Saving is a pretty much a storage area. Or st storage NPC. Okay, here's Bla um, the character again. Anyway, here is the item shop. What should we buy? Is there anything we can even buy? Yeah, I guess so, but... Um, I'd rather not buy anything for now. Or I can sell stuff. I've got uh, this grunt doll as well as the amateur blades. Although I'll just sell the grunt doll for now. Anyway, let's talk to people since we need information. Or not. That he doesn't have any info. Okay, nothing on that and PC as well. Yeah, I'm really sorry if my if the game seems to be um, slowing down a bit. <clears throat> anyway, here's a weapon shop. We've got Phantom, Phantom Blades, and Assassin. Phantom Blades is well for level two. What level are we anyway? We're only level one, so never mind. We can't even use either, uh, either of them. So let's not waste our money. And as for this spot, what's this? Um, whoops, we're talking to another paper uh, player. I mean, oh, magic shop. Okay, we've got a speed charm here, night glide, and all that. Um, they're basically spells or scrolls. So I'll be getting, um, I already have 3 speed charms but I'll be getting 2 more because if I remember correctly, I'll be getting a quest which uh, wherein I'll be needing that and so yeah. Anyway, that's the back alley here. Yeah, what you... Um, you know, pretty much expect from a um, from an MMORPG um, town or something like that. You've got all the NPCs you need, 
some spots you can hang out to on and all that anyway let's, <clears throat> let's just go log out or I guess go to a different Wait, area and there we go yeah you I uh I know some interesting keywords if you go with me I'll tell you what they are do you want to know well why not right <laughs> Yeah, like you. The keywords are Delta, Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Okay, so let's go in. What are you doing? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna add her. She is called Black Rose and she is a heavy blade class. And obviously heavy blades use okay. Here um, I come. two handed swords. Or basically 200 weapons in general if I remember correctly I, I think they also use um, axes and all of that I'm not sure I think axes are for another class but I forgot anyway let's go new keyword word list we've got hidden forbidden holy ground so let's go yeah the level requirement isn't exactly for us but you'll see Places. Huh? Never mind, let's go. Well, are you going to escort me like a proper gentleman? And so, yeah. As you can see, there are no monsters here. This is pretty much a... Um, there are some areas in, in the world that don't have any monsters. They're just, you know, like, you can say tourist spots, I could say. And Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground is... An area where the Yule Grand's Cathedral is, which is this huge, um, huge building. Anyway, let's go inside. Don't say. Hmm. Yeah. It must be pretty obvious by the way I acted back there. But you still hung out with me. You know what? You're nicer than I thought. You see, I'm... I'm trying to find... Hey! What are you doing? What? What about you, huh? No time to explain. It's too dangerous here. What? I'm telling you to get out! Leave here at once! It's a bug from a computer virus. The 
The virus is rewriting the data. It has a hit point that's infinite. This is the one! You must escape, while I buy some time. Because of this thing, I'll kill you! No! You can't kill it! Leave it be or you'll be killed! <sighs> The book. Open the book. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, there are supposedly no monsters here, but as you can see in the cutscene, well, yeah, there are monsters because of some computer virus, which we'll all know later and all that. Anyway, let's continue. The book? The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction? Yeah, in case you guys already forgot, the book that you are using here is the one that we got from Aura from the first episode. If you've watched that, hopefully you did, of course. <laughs> Else you won't be understanding much of the story if you're jumping episodes. Anyway, yeah. think that I was saved by someone like you. No! That's not... I don't even know what's... Do not lie to me! Recently, many places within the world have been damaged by a virus. Those who willfully spread the virus and destroy this world for their own amusement, they... they shall receive no mercy. No, that's not me, I... I did not expect to find the one responsible so soon. Draw! Draw your sword, now! I won't! There's no reason to do that! There is for me. No, I don't want to fight! I just... I... What is the matter with you? That's hardly the way to talk to someone who just saved your life! Mm. Hmm. I still do not trust you. I just require the time to think this through. But if I find out that you are... indeed in with them... I... will kill you. That was rather childish for Baal Monk of the Azure Sky, the descendant of Fianna. I do not speak with hackers. <laughs> that boy. He's a friend of your partner. Orca?
I thought he would end up like Orca. And... and I panicked. That's when I heard her voice. It was the voice of the girl who gave the book to Orca. I see. But what are you going to do if the data bug shows up again? That power put your friend... Um... Sorry. I don't even know... what this power is. Or what she wanted Orca to do. And what am I supposed to do with... This power. All I want to do is help Orca. Well, I've got to go. And yeah, as you guys might have seen, we opened the Book of Twilight and we got um, new powers. Sort of, and if you guys have noticed, it's similar to um, what Skaith, or rather, that thing used um, in order to, you know, uh, take down Orca in the first episode. If you've watched that, and yeah, that was pretty similar. And what that skill does will be further explained later on. And yeah, we've also met Orca, uh, or rather, Balmung which is the partner of Orca and we'll also get to know about him as well soon as well as Helba the um you know the one that Balmung called a hacker you guys will understand more <laughs> obviously in the future today was um i don't know what to say but good night Anyway, that was that. Nothing more to do here. So let's go log, log out. And let's check the um, that post we posted in the boards. Where was that? Okay, here we go. Comma. And it's deleted. The message I posted is deleted. Yeah, we still don't know why. Anyway, we've got other new stuff here on the board. Let's play tag. Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Honey, the Golden Goblin Gob. If you win tag against me, I'll give you a reward. Though that probably won't happen, Gob. Good luck, Gob. Oh, forgot something important, Gob. Mr. Honey is a Delta Detestable Golden Sun in Demon. Come alone, Gob. Okay, so that's um, that's the um, side quest that I was talking about earlier that needed the speed charm so yeah I'll be going to that after we check out our mail and all the other stuff anyway he, what's this Zate statue does everyone know about the Zate statue the Zate statue at the bottom of the dungeon is searching for an adventure to give a title of honor as the hero of Zate only way to get the title is to get to the Zate statue as fast as you can does we want the praise of the Zate statue blah 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 select chronicling as your part A at the chaos gate First, look for an area with a dungeon close to the entrance and that doesn't have that many floors. Okay. I'm gonna assume that's a um, time, time trial. Yeah, we've got um, Balmung here with the fastest time, 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Orca, 2 minutes and 26 seconds. And yeah. See Gailander and Nog. Okay, so we, we can try that the time trial out in the future. Maybe not now. Pretty sure we won't be able to defeat those records right now anyway. Anyway, we've got new mail from Helba. I've seen your powers. You can rewrite the monster's data by performing data drain when the OK sign is flashing. Yeah, data drain is pretty much the skill we used, and as Helba has men have mentioned, we rewrite the monster's data. And because usually, you know, um, monsters like that data bug we saw earlier that Balmung was fighting, and as well as Kaith, 
that thing that uh, was chasing Aura and defeated Orca, um, we can rewrite, ah, rewrite, <laughs> rewrite their data in order for them to be vulnerable. Since as Balmung has mentioned, these monsters have infinite health points, and so by rewriting their data, we are capable of defeating them and all that. If you use it wisely, it will be very valuable in the future. You will need its powers. You can check the spread by a gauge in the se skill selection menu. When the spread is at 100%, there may be a lethal effect on your character, so be aware of the spread of the viral infection. And yeah, we can't use that skill too much because um, there is a chance that it, that it can kill us if you use it too much. If you de defeat monsters without using data drain, then the spread will decrease little by little, so do not let it get above 100%. Okay, self-explanatory. And another warning, you are always being watched. Though you may not wish it, you will be the eye of the storm in the world. That is the fate of the one who bear bears the bracelet. Prepare yourself. She knows about my bracelet. Who is she? And so yeah. That was that, more expositions, more revelations. Anyway, we've got another mail from Black Rose here. I don't really understand it, but I will believe you. I'm actually real busy, but I'll help you when I have time, so call me up. And of course, you know, we need as much as party members that we can get. That's very appreciated. Thank you, it's good to know. So let's send that email. And so yeah, we can also sometimes reply to... um. The emails that other people send to us and sometimes they also reply to those replies and you know that's pretty um, interesting anyway we've got new news the world for idiots what <laughs> this volume will go above and beyond the world with ah, okay strategy tips and how that's pretty much a um, how to guide I guess anyway let's save I saw a strange character in the alley it looked like a cat. Is it possible to edit like that? A cat? Oh yeah, I saw it too. I prefer bunny girls though. Anyway, let's go to that. Um peculiar um, character it's back in the alley another cutscene hey I found a great area that's full of aromatic grass want to go yeah sure okay let's get ready then uh, Mia! Excuse me! You! Yes, you! That's a unique bracelet. Uh, 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 oh. Can I take a look? Can you see it? Yes, of course. Do you mean to say you can't see this nice bracelet? Even if you can't see it. As long as you know it's there, it's the same thing as seeing it, right? Bracelet? Hey, what are you talking about? I can't see any bracelet, Mia. Well, thanks a lot for letting me look at your bracelet. I have a feeling I need to do it. Somehow. Well, see you around. And so we meet Mia and Elk. Yeah, Mia is another person that knows about the bracelet, but as for the reason why, we don't know. So we'll see that in the future. And Elk, the one that always that is always 
tailing behind her. And yeah, encounters with them will get a lot more wither from here on out. <laughs> and so, yeah. We'll be meeting them a lot in the future, as Mia has mentioned. Anyway, before I go log out, I guess I can go, um, you know, try out that detestable Golden Sunny Demon that I got as a side quest. It's pretty much just a, um, a game of tag with a monster. The monster won't attack you, it will just run, and you will just do your best to, you know, follow it around and hopefully kill it. Let's play tag! If you win, I'll give you a reward! I really doubt that will happen though. Yeah, before that, let's go use our speed charm. So that we can easily follow him. And for skills, Tiger Claw. Yep, that pretty much missed. Nope, you can't run from me! Anyway, we've got SP again. Let's use Tiger Claws. Anyway, last, last skill. This will, this will probably kill him. Quick and easy. You did better than I thought. My bad for underestimating you. But don't get cocky. I'm only an apprentice of the Four Cob Kings. <laughs> and so now I've got that goblin cap. What's that again? I think that's an equipment. Yeah, we've got here rare level six um, for wave masters. And wave masters are basically the clerics in the game. You know, healers. Elk is a wave master, so that you guys can distinguish what wave masters usually look like. Anyway, that was that. That was quick. Oh yeah, before I go out, I think I can... Yep, as you can see, I can go gather some Mandragoras. I forgot what they're used for actually, but might as well go collect them now than later. Mandragora, where is that? Key items. Where are my key items? Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, grunty food. And as for grunties, you'll need them soon enough. Maybe there's something new on the boards? Is this an event character? What's this? I saw a strange character in the dungeon of Delta Expansive Haunted Sea of Sand. It was a little girl with long hair, but it didn't look like another player. She was kind of white, like a ghost in a move without a sound. And in case that's not obvious yet, <laughs> that's Aura. So that's our Aura, Aura, whatever you want to read it. And so yeah, that's our next destination. And so there's another one, another topic here. Test version of the world. I heard that there was a test version of the world before it came out. Yeah, I mentioned this in the first episode, and yeah, that test version was fragment. Anyway, protected area. I tried a random keyword, but a warning message came up, and I couldn't go in. I think it was Delta Closed Oblivious Twin Hills. Okay, another new area that we can go to, but I won't, we won't be going to that for now. Anyway, increasing levels. I just started this game. I formed a three-member party with my friends. Blah 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 blah. So pretty much, they're they're dead. Depending on the area, the level of the enemy varies. So you have to find the area that's best suited for you. Our area I recommend for beginners. Delta discovered primitive touchstone. And so yeah, I guess we can go. Um, use that area to um grind a bit. Anyway, you uh, you guys don't know what Grunty is, what a Grunty is yet, so let's read this. I found this item called Root Vegetable in the field, just jumping up and down, blah blah blah. So what is this Grunty? Something alive? Blah blah blah. Well, there aren't any Grunties in the Delta server, and Grunties are living things in the Theta server, and yeah. And so food for Grunty are be pretty much just food that uh, we give them to eat. And so yeah, 
this is kind of accurate. Grunty is kind of look like a mix of a pig and a cow, which you guys will be seeing later once we have access to the Theta server. And so, yeah. You'll understand what Grunties are for once we're there. Anyway, Spring of Mist, what is it? Or yeah, I'd rather read that for another time. Anyway, there's nothing new here, I guess. So, I guess I'll be just, um, uh, how do you say this? I'll just leave the episode here for now. We can progress a lot more in the next episode. So, yeah, let's not, you know, prolong the videos too much. Might get, get too dull, especially with games like this. Well, you know, there's a lot of um, expositions, cutscenes, which take up a lot of time. Although they are appreciated in my opinion still they do take up a lot of time <laughs> so sometimes i might not be able to fit in as much as you know gameplay in one video uh, from time to time so yeah i'm just informing you guys about that so that you won't be surprised that oh the the video is oh the video is finished already where's the gameplay or something like that you know you kind of expect it already from games games like this to be honest and so yeah, if you like the video, do like it, comment for your comments, suggestions, criticisms or whatever, and hopefully you subscribe as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.